Jelly here to show you the landmine bent over rope. Just to be clear, this attachment is what makes it a landmine. You see your barbell that way, and you're going to stand over the barbell um, with it right between your feet here. We're going to grab on the thinner end of the barbell here so that you can load weights here when you get really confident. But to start off with, we want our feet about hip width apart, both hands on the landmine, shoulders back, don't slump. We've got our shoulders back, we're very proud of ourselves. We're going to lead with our hips going straight backwards, just like Caleb and Skylar kind of explained that hinge. Then you're going to drive your elbows straight back, big squeeze between your shoulder blades, and then back down nice and controlled. We're not letting the weight pull us forward at the bottom, so it's like, Pluff. that'd be ugly. So keep your feet nice and flat, backs nice and flat, shoulders are engaged, drive your elbows, big squeeze. Nice and controlled on the way down, but notice my shoulders are still engaged, so I'm not losing it at the bottom. Everything stays tight, elbows back, and back down. When you're setting it back down, don't suddenly lose your form and play. I'm done. No, we're going to keep our shoulders back, change a little bit further, and set it down. Ideally, there's plates to close that distance just a little bit, but just a reminder, don't lose your form on the last rep just because it's done. That's how you get